crafty morning everybody today i'm here with the design team project for trezor's deluxe and this might be a little bit hard to show so i'm going to do my best um it's kind of a white and ivory project so i didn't want to have my whole background as white um but i'm going to show you first um some of the laces that i used and this is always a favorite and uh, my project is kind of kind of a valentine's project um so i love this and how it looks like hearts so i used that and i used this gorgeous one of my favorites and you can cut this apart and use it like an applique really easily so i used that one and I used this gorgeous one that I think just came in my last package, but I love it. The little bows at the top. And this also can be cut apart and used as appliques, and it's just gorgeous. Um, I used this one. And this is a very large lace, as you can see by the size of my hand. Very gorgeous. When I got that, I was like, gosh, what am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with that? And I found something to do with it. Um, did I show this one? Yeah, I showed this one. I just have a separate piece. And then, of course, my trusty little favorite. I just love this one. I usually use this on cards because um, it's small and I just love it. But it's not a card. <laughs> All right. I'm going to uh, see if I can set this up to show you in the best way possible let me start here I didn't show you this dangly trim because I think I used it all but I layered that um, I layered two layers of that underneath because it was just one dangle um, and then I layered the other one. So let me see how it'll set up right there. There we go. It is a Valentine wreath. And I used so much Trezor stuff on this. It's hard to, it's just crazy. Um, the first thing I did, and it's kind of funny. I actually, this fabric that I use for my, um, like my tablecloth when I do a share a project, I actually have two pieces of this. And I cut several strips of this and I put it around uh, my wreath, which is a styrofoam. It was just a green styrofoam wreath. So I did that. And then I had, you can kind of see some pink in there. And what I did was I just had some pink ribbon, um, some wide, like three inch ribbon in my stash, and then I wrapped it around there. Then I started layering my Trezor's goodies. And one of the things I don't have to show you is the bottom lace. And it's a white um, lace that has roses. You can kind of see it under, under here. But yeah, then I layered that and then because um, I wanted it pink and white and ivory. And so um, then I got out my ivory laces and I did all the layering at the bottom, which was going to be the dangles. And then I picked this trim right here with the bows at the top. Um, and like I said, you could cut those out like an applique. And I layered those on both sides. It's very symmetrical. Um, <clears throat> up here are the heart, uh, is the heart lace. So there's three pieces of that. And <clears throat> I have this heart in my stash. And it's just a plain and simple kind of a, a burlapy almost, like a... I don't know how to describe it, but kind of burlapy, um, puffy heart that I had picked up somewhere a long time ago. And I, I had been gifted this heart, and I kind of wanted to use it in the middle, but I didn't have the heart. <laughs> Get it? I didn't have the heart. 
So I'm keeping that up here on my little shelf. And <clears throat> what I decided to do was cut up this Trezor's applique, um, one of their gorgeous, gorgeous wedding appliques, and layer it on, on top of the heart. And then I use my pretty, pretty little, um, my go-to trim from Trezor's um, to put around the heart. And I just love how it turned out. Then I had this gorgeous, gorgeous stick pin, or not stick pin, a uh, brooch from Trezor's. And I thought, you know, I was going to put it down here and now it's going to put it up there. And then I was like, no, I'm going to put it on the heart. And although it covered up some of the gorgeous applique, um, I think it's a, a beautiful uh, place to have that gorgeous piece right there, dead center. Um, so then this was two applique pieces and there were pieces left over. So I cut those apart and I put one here, here, and here. Um, I put one here and one here. And then up at the top, I put one of the flowers and then these are separate flower pieces that I cut um, from the two huge pieces that I had. Then I wanted some bling, so I took this gorgeous Trezor's bling and this one. I almost didn't want to use this one there. I had another one and I was like, oh, I'm hoarding this one. And I was like, no, I'm not allowed to hoard. <laughs> so I went ahead and put that um, gorgeous, gorgeous bling with those resin roses and this one. And I was too, too hoardy to make it go all the way around the back of the, uh, of the wreath. I was like, no, I'm not going to waste it because I'm never going to see that. Or whoever ends up with this is never going to see that. Um, then I was like, well, I love it, but it just needs something else. So see that gorgeous lace in the back? And then the heart hangs and it looks dimensional and I will turn this over and show you that's what I did on the back and it's really beautiful and then I just decided it needed a little bit more something and I had this trim in my stash so I put that around um and voila there you go oh my gosh I'm it's so beautiful I can't even tell you um I'm going to tell you, I will let this go. If someone's interested, you can email me um, and we can talk about it. And if I don't, if I don't find a home for it, I will find a spot for it somewhere um, to look at. But I just, just love, love, love it. Let me know what you think. Head over to Trezor's. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I mean, this is almost everything. Everything you can see is from Trezor's except this. And like I said, the base stuff, but you can't even see that. Oh, well, anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching. I will put all the links in the description box down below. Happy Valentine's Day.